welcome back to Storytime. Today, we are going to be reading a great book called Bartleby the Brave. Ooh, I'm so excited to be here. And I'm so excited to be reading this book. Yes, all of the Brave. Look what's on the cover. It's a bird. Yeah, like hey. us. Yes, Bartleby. Uh -huh. Oh, the brave bird. Oh, I can't wait to read this. Yay. This was written by Victoria Maldonado and illustrated by Ronald Butts. Oh, the illustrations look fabulous. Oh, yes, they do. Okay, let's get reading the story. I can't wait to see what is going to happen with Bartley the Brave. Yes, okay. let's get started. Yes, yay! Hooray. Oh, look at Bartleby standing so brave. Bartleby the Brave. Three sparrow chicks fluttered into the nest. An old bird hugged them close to his chest. Oh, look how sweet. Grandpa, Grandpa, tell us a story. He smiled. I know one about bravery and glory. So settle on in. Listen close and behave, and I'll tell you the story of Bartleby the Brave. Bartleby Bird gave a great big stretch. One morning in his cozy nest. Ooh, I wonder what he's doing here. The sun was bright. The weather was breezy. The brisk wind made his beak quite sneezy. But nothing would stop him from getting up. Oh, I wonder why. He couldn't be late for the brave bird cup. Oh, wow. I wonder what that could be. Today was especially great, you see, because right underneath this very tree, coming from across the world wide, birds of all kinds gathered and tried to be the best, bravest birds around by swooping and diving past cars that came round. Young Bartleby watched the games every time. He cheered on his favorites. Oh, they were divine, like Ned Needleback, the strong nut hatch and Bob the Blue Jay, no, who no one can match. Carissa, the cat bird, of course, she was quick, and Monty, the marten, knew every trick. Barbie flew out to his favorite limb, a fantastic spot known only by him, or so he thought, but to his shock, some other birds were in his spot. Excuse me, he said, but this is my space. I sit here each time there is a race. Oh, it sounds like Bartleby just wants to sit in his spot. Get lost, little bird. We got here first, said the mean red bird. So harshly it hurt. Oh, poor Bartleby. Surely there's room for little old me. Scram, little bird. There's, only, there's not room for three. Oh my. These red birds are being mean. The cardinals were bigger and bolder, so Barton frowned and shrugged his shoulders. Oh, poor little Bartleby. Bartleby tried to find a new spot. With all good limbs taken, he found just one knot. With the view that was very much hidden by leaves, and from the here Bartleby could almost not see. Oh no, the bird frowned. This will be the first year that I haven't been able to watch and cheer. Oh, poor little Bartleby. Oh, Ella, I was afraid to swing once too. You were? Oh yes, but you know, I just sat down and I watched how the other birds got on and how they pushed themselves on the swing. You know, I can be right here for you and help you. Do you okay. want me to be right here? Yes, yes, please. Okay, well, I will be here right here for you, okay? Okay. okay. A cough! A cough! Look at me! I'm actually swinging! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Oh, good job, Ella! I'm so proud of you! Good job! <laughs> Yet Bartleby's frown stayed only a minute as the games began with his favorite birds in it. He ducked and bobbed to see them come by, but the leaves were so thick 
He could almost cry. Oh no. The sparrow looked longingly back at his place and the red bird just sneered with a quite nasty face. Oh my, what's gonna happen? Look at his face. Oh, look at Bartleby, so cute and brave. But as Bartleby watched, that bird changed his tune. Went onto their branch, an old cup legend flew. Bartleby's mouth now dropped open wide as Carmine the Cardinal landed beside. Grandpa, the Cardinal boldly exclaimed. Grandpa, Bartleby whispered the name. I see that you found a good spot for the cup, observed the old bird, looking down and then up. Maybe some day, Carl, you'll bravely compete, said the old to the young with a toss of his beak. As the race bird of legend flew down and away, Bartleby noticed the red bird's dismay. I'll show him I'm fast. I'll show him I'm brave. The cardinal squawked before flying away. Oh my, what's gonna happen? Oh, look at him. Bartleby's face came alive with delight. He had his branch back and he quickly took flight, then settled on in to watch all of the greats. And the new bird cup hopefuls Oh, I just can't wait. First, Bobby the Blue Jay readied his wings to perform his death-defying windshield swing. Whoosh, whoosh. Then Ned Needlebeak dipped deeply and died. Just watching made Bartleby feel so alive. Bartleby cheered and Bartleby howled as the competition left him completely wow. Of all the bird flyers, he was ever so proud. But then he noticed apart from the crowd that the same red bird who'd taken his seat was approaching the edge of the bird cup street. As Bartleby watched, the cardinal swooped close to a windshield. The bird loop-de-looped, -looped. but as he began to turn his upswing and go over the roof, the car clipped his wing. Oh. Tumbling and over and he fell right down onto the hard and cold black paved ground. Oh, the poor bird. Who's going to help him? Bartleby gasped, but saw no one had seen. Their eyes were all fixed on the award giving scene. I'm so, so afraid to fly from this tree to that tree, Macaw. I'm so scared. What if I don't make it to that tree? What? I'm so scared. I know you can do this, Ella. I saw how you were brave enough to try the swing and you did a great job. Oh, give it a try, Ella. I will be right here for you. I am the best. The small sparrow saw that Carl couldn't get up, and bearing down fast was a big semi-truck. Ah! Oh no, the poor bird! Ah! Oh look, it's Bartleby the Brave! Without a thought, Bartleby flew from his branch, heading straight to the road, hoping there was a chance. He reached Carl's side and said, get up, you must, or you will be hit 
by this very big truck. Oh no! But he's helping him. The injured bird nodded and lifted a wing, letting Bartleby move him along inch by inch. Just as they both reached the side of the road, the truck rumbled past. It never once slowed. Before he could rest, Bartleby was swept up, whisked up and away by a gust from the truck. Oh, Bartleby! The world spun around and up was now down as Bartleby was tossed here and there all around. He looped and he swooped and he went topsy-turvy, twisting and whirling in a wind packed so curvy. <gasps> At last, when the world had stopped turning and spinning, a big flock of birds came toward him, all grinning. Carmine the Cardinal, the legend of old, wrapped a wing around Barnaby and said loud and bold, Never in all of my bird cup years has a bird dodged a truck with such style and no fear. And to top it all off, you have saved my grandson. I say to you birds, these games were just won. With a cheer from the crowd and nods all around, in Bartleby's arms soon the trophy was found. As the birds raised him up in the air so high, Bartleby's tears rolled up in his eyes. I never thought I would be able to say, Oh, I think Bartleby's holding the trophy. Wow. That Bartleby became a brave girl that day. The children looked up at their grandpa's awe. That spell was you, wasn't it, Grandpa? Oh, that's amazing. Indeed it was, I see little birds. So, you need to remember these few special words. Whether you're big or whether you're small, when you care about others, you'll grow to all. Be. Oh, I love that book so much. That's an amazing book. Hi, and welcome back to the book review. Oh, this was such a beautiful book, don't you think, Ella? Oh, yes. The illustrations were amazing. Oh, all the beautiful birds. Oh, it was wonderful. Oh, yes. I loved how it was about birds and, well, the birds were reading it. Yes, that's true. Oh, and we were outside. Oh, it was the perfect day to read outside today. Yeah, the weather is so beautiful and windy. Yes. The right amount of cold. Yes. Oh, and you know, I loved all the expressions the birds had on their faces. It really brought the story to life. I almost felt like I was watching a cartoon in yeah. a way. Oh, I mean, and yes, and the lesson. What do you think about the lesson learned in this book? Yeah, and well, the lesson is mm -hmm. teach his kids to be brave. Oh, yes, and I loved how Bartleby overlooked, even though that one little bird was me. You oh, know, yes. And, and, and if the bird needed help, you know, he didn't think about that. He said, you know, it doesn't matter if that bird was mean at first, and that bird needs help, and I'm gonna help that bird. That was a true act of kindness from yes. Bartleby. Oh, and he was so brave, that car and that truck. Oh my goodness, so much going on. What a brave, oh, yes. brave Bartleby. Mm -hmm. And yes. Ron and Fox did an amazing job oh. because these birds' expressions are so, so good. Like you were saying. Yes, what a great illustrator. Oh my goodness, the movement felt on each page. Oh, I just love each sketch. Oh, what a yes. great job. Victoria and Rob, Ronald, oh, you did so great. I just love this book. Me too. Okay, you can find this book on our website at thinkaheadkids.com. And I hope you enjoy our story time today. Oh yes, we sure had a great one. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Bye.